Hello, my friends! Today we are going to check out the new SWAM Woodwinds Bundle, which are physical modeling instruments, and that means they take less space on your hard drive, less RAM usage, but most importantly, you can play the expression and the performances live simply using your MIDI keyboard and some faders or knobs that you map to various parameters inside these instruments. So let's dive in right now. Let's start by listening to this short composition I created to demonstrate Swam Woodwinds 3.0. As you can see, I'm using a contrabassoon, clarinet, oboe, and a classic flute. Plus, I'm actually also using Swam uh, brass with this flugelhorn and tuba, and then some strings and basses and piano from other libraries. But let's focus on the woodwind parts here, and uh, I'm playing now. So the SWAM Woodwinds 3.0 bundle gives you a huge range of woodwind instruments. So first, clarinets, which are clarinet plus bass clarinet. Then flutes, you have concert flute, alto flute, bass flute and piccolo. Double reeds, which are oboe, English horn, bassoon and contrabassoon. And also saxophones, soprano, alto, tenor and a baritone saxophone. So one good thing is if you have the other instruments in the SWAM family, now the interface is consistent and very nice looking. As you can see here, this is the brass. And you have the same kind of interface and engine now. In the strings, the brass and the woodwinds. It is also super easy to map your MIDI faders or knobs to any parameters inside the interface. So now I have mapped, let's see, the mod wheel is vibrato and the CC11 is expressions or dynamics. Now if you want to map it differently, you can either go here, MIDI, presets. So I've set it on breath controller, but you have all these presets here uh, that you can use or you can map yourself by simply clicking here, let's say expression, and then learn. Well, now we, you know, if I map my mod wheel, you can see it changed here. Um, so now both the mod wheel, uh, both the vibrato and expression is mapped to the mod wheel. Let's go back to the preset. Breath control default, and now you can see mod wheel and expression. And of course you can set all these other parameters, so it's huge what you can do to shape the sound, and that's the main positive, absolute best thing about these instruments is that they are physically modeled, meaning they, they actually create the sound in, in real time based on your performance, on the velocity, vibrato expression, all these aspects. Uh, compared to a sample library, which is simply just playing back uh, wave files back, basically in the background. This means that you can play without using key switches. So if I just play something fast, you can see if I connect the notes, you get legato. So you can basically see semi-legato disjointed. You can see the, well, basically the articulation here. And if it's vibrato, you can see it here. And you can control and shape this in real time. So let's say I have another fader here on my keyboard. Let's map that to flutter so you can create flutter tongue. Click there, learn. Now that is in, on CC3, which is my, my next fader. And now we can add Or let's unlearn this and 
do it on the growl instead here, on the same fader. And now we can add some growl. To create some unique track textures here, you can also control the breath noise. Let's see. Listen to that, especially the start of each note, the air. Key noise. Style. Which is con uh, changing the tone. You can choose to overblow. You can change the formants. As you can see, so much you can do to shape the tone, but the main is all main thing is always the velocity, expression, vibrato. Of course, you can use the pitch bend wheel to do some. Let's remove the growl. Just do some bends. And if you go into this uh, panel here, you can see you can change the expressivity, the vibrato depth and rate. So not only the vibrato amount, but actually the speed and depth of it here. Uh, you can choose play modes here as well. And really dive in deeper. This is so advanced, I will not go into every aspect here. You can check out their walkthrough videos, but you can see you can change even the instrument itself. So this is number zero. This is the... Different tone. Basically different tones of flutes here. And this is all in the same interface. Uh, you can even use microtuning if you want to go really advanced. And uh, yeah, so you can use this with a breath controller or with your MIDI keyboard if you have some faders. So that's how the interface looks. Now I will just play some of these sounds. You can hear them in action. So let's turn on this, since I didn't use it in the video or the composition, which is the tenor sax. Uh, let's see, we have some expression. We have vibrato. Let's map growl. Vibrato or, or saxophones need some growl. Let's try also some effects here, so you can actually add, you have some compression, EQ, early reflections, reverb mix, so let's increase that. I would say it's uh, even better if you use a breath controller to use these, since these are woodwind instruments. But you get the uh, main impression here. So you can go here, just in main interface to change the saxophone to a completely different model, as you can see. Change its color even, which is a neat thing in the interface. But look, it looks so good here, the instrument itself. <laughs> Portamento, if you do a soft transition from one note to the next, um, press it with the low velocity, but connect the notes. Okay, so that's uh, tenor sax. You also have the alto, baritone, and soprano, but uh, the flute you already heard, some of the double reeds, you have the oboe.
change to another one. And uh, then you can also use the presets up here. So this changes things in the background. So here, reverb and tone and such. So we have the classical. Let's go to the standard oboe. Much more upfront. And the next one, Baroque. can even uh, see we have some pop. Whenever you heard an oboe in pop music, I'm not sure, but... Perhaps that would be the next cool thing. Uh, clarinets. You can see some legato, staccato, full attack, portamento, I think uh, the clarinet is probably my favorite in this entire woodwind bundle. So that is the clarinet, let's try the contrabassoon, which I used in this piece. Wow, that is... I, I, I just love low woodwinds. They have this kind of dirty, gritty character compared to low strings, which are more, you know, clean and um, structured, basically. And low brass can also sound that growly, mean sound, but low woodwinds has this... It's really... Like some... Something you want to, it tries to break the barriers of something. Uh, so let's just check the clarinet here. So, this is the ordinary clarinet. You can see that you get this audio modeling, and then you have I have all of the instruments. So, the clarinet three, then we have let's see the bass clarinet. Load it up, and let's just choose the breath controller preset so we can play it with this. So now we can play lower even. Here. Let's try the classical preset. Much better. So you get the same kind of interface, the same mapping options, the sound sculpting options in all of these instruments. And uh, basically it covers all the woodwinds family, at least for orchestral music. Um, let's see if I missed something here. Well, let's try bass clarinet. Alt let's try some bass flute as well, or alt flute. Ah, well, let's do the bass flute, so that's further away in range. Okay. And of course, I would recommend you save the options after you <laughs> create them in your template. Let's try Banzuri. So they have changed the tone to sound more like a Banzuri. Really, that uh, aggressive attack. And again, I'm only playing my keys and using my MIDI faders, CC1 and 11. And I can play from legato to staccato to everything in between in real time. Let's try another preset, classical. 
Of course, that's my favorite because I make cinematic and orchestral music mainly, but... So, so as you can hear and see, so much potential and... Well, what I love the most about this and all the Swam instruments is the instant playability and expression. And now they all share the same really nice looking, clean, actually really beautiful user interface with a lot of sound shaping options and expressive, expressive options if you dive in, map the different parameters, and then just start to play, record the automation of this to make your woodwinds uh, or other swam instrument performances come to life in your music compositions. So I will leave a link in the video description so you can read more and check this out on their website and I will see you in the next video my friends.